have to be honest. This weather has got me whew, so defeated. I good news, good news. Last night was the first night I was able to sleep through the night. So went to bed close to midnight, woke up at like 6 a.m. Not three, not two, not one, not four, six, 6 a.m. Oh, it was such a relief. Honestly, I just, it was great. I, I have hope that I'm finally getting over this jet lag. Bad news is the weather is truly just tragic. Rain, potential flooding. I mean, if it was snow, at least it would be romantic. But the rain, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love the rain. It's beautiful. It, it's calming. But gosh, is it dark, you know? So seasonal depression, big time. Can't help it. I don't know what to do about it. But uh, don't get me wrong. Thailand was amazing. But um, I'm not there anymore. And I don't. I haven't seen the sun in a while, if I'm being frank. Like... I have not seen it in a while. Like two days without the sun is two days too long for me. But anyway, that would uh, explain the inspiration for today's outfit. Yep. Uh, when I said I was going to live in this, I wasn't exaggerating. I really will live in this. <laughs> I love this jumpsuit so much. Um, but anyway, I do have to make my matcha. I did promise an androgynous lookbook. Now, I went through my closet and it is very hard. Listen, I when I was younger, I used to be a little more, I hate the term tomboy, but I loved um, outfits that were a little more masculine. Um, it just made me feel a little more powerful. I don't know why, it just, I just loved it. Um, but now, I look through my closet and it's like, if I'm being just like transparent, most of the clothes don't fit me anymore. Like the new things that I bought to fit this body are like jeans, <laughs> bodysuits, and like the cheapest <laughs> Shein AliExpress. Like I don't have anything of quality or anything. Like, um, and the stuff that is from like high school and stuff that mostly fits me. It's it's a little. It's like a size too big because I've never been this small before. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm looking. I might have to, honestly, I might dig into hubby's closet, but his, his stuff is actually like too big for me, but maybe that oversized look is, you know, I mean, it's very masculine and it might work. So I'll see what I can find. Uh, I know he's got suspenders cause I made sure that he has suspenders. So maybe we just play and look in there. Anyway, let me show you the fit. I'm going to have my matcha and I'm gonna continue brainstorming. I really wanna get this done. I wanna do it for you. I wanna see what we can come up with um, because I think it would be really fun. And just uh, honestly, I, I love coming up with different looks and different styles and stuff. So that's the plan. Anyway, let's go check out the fit and then have some matcha. <laughs> okay, once again, a cold, dreary, rainy day. So I gotta redo my bangs. They're like twisted. I don't know what's happening here, but it's fine, whatever. <laughs> anyway, um, cozy jumpsuit that I just got in the mail and I am low-key, high-key obsessed with. Um, but yeah, and yeah, I have a lot of stuff that I need to put away, my Thailand stuff, and uh, I still need to figure out my androgynous lookbook. I'm very excited, but it's going to be a challenge. For now, though, for now, it's matcha time. <laughs> If you're wondering if I have a thousand of the same mugs or if I'm using the same mug, it's that I'm using the same. <laughs> I wash it every day. I just think it is so apt. And uh, <laughs> this is definitely the vibe and the theme, warm and cozy, because listen, I have my Halloween mugs, which we love. I have my Chris, which you didn't see. I do have a few Christmas mugs, which you didn't see this year or last year, I should say. Um, in terms of winter mugs, this is the best I've got. So <laughs> this is what we're doing. Anyway, oh my God, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. Okay. I'm going to enjoy my matcha. 
I'm going to continue to brainstorm, uh, see if hubby's uh, clothes will fit me, maybe. <laughs> this, he's got a juicy booty. Um, his hips are wider than mine, and I like to wear my, you know, pants high. So I don't, I don't think it'll fit, but maybe I can do like some bobby pins or something, <laughs> safety pin it to me. <laughs> do I have safety pins? Probably not. Um, maybe that's something I go out and do just so I can make this lookbook amazing. But anyway, I'm gonna enjoy my matcha and I will check in with you when we are finally doing our lookbook. So, cheers. <laughs> All right, so, um, let's make sure that's working right. Um, <laughs> as you can see, the sun has set, but it has been a very dark and dreary day all day today. So motivation is at an all time low. Um, but I think I came up with some cool ideas. Uh, I also definitely uh, went into hubby's closet. By hubby's closet, I mean our closet, his side. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're gonna see what we can create. I haven't put any of this stuff on together. So we'll see what happens. Some of the stuff, I'm not even gonna lie, is from high school, college. Um, thank God it's coming back, I guess you could say. But yeah, um, all right. Let's let's get started on, I don't know what made me think I could do this. I don't know what made me think I had enough things to do this, but we're gonna try it. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so this is my first um, androgynous, you know, 4A, could be a little more mask, could be, you know, I feel like this is pretty masculine. Um, yeah, I like it. I, I have another piece that could add to it to kind of continue that strong uh, uh, masculine sort of feel to it. I know the top is flowy, but the trousers are kind of baggy, a little more on the masculine side. But uh, yeah, I noticed that men don't have their thumbs out. Uh, they put their whole hand in the pocket. I thought that was interesting. That's like a thing they do now. Um, not used to that. Okay, let me show you. Let me show you how I can make this even a little bit more masculine. Okay. Um, it's not a vest, but it's like it's a corset essentially. Um, but you know, it's kind of like a vest. I do have a vest, but I thought this was kind of you know. Honestly, it's probably more dark academia than than androgynous, but. You know, it's, it's, it could work, I feel like. Um, I feel like it could work. But yeah, I also changed the shoes. I thought they would be pretty fun. Um, definitely not masculine at all. Um, but still very fierce. But you also know that I am obsessed with these shoes. So yeah, okay, next. Okay, here's the thing. Like, I, um... I don't have a lot of mask. <laughs> this is my idea of a femme mask. I don't know. Uh, they're trousers, but they're sexy because obvious reasons. But also, we have a collared shirt, but we got the bling going because it's me. I have it slightly untucked. I feel like that's pretty, um, like, the casual masculine sort of energy. Um, and then... Uh, my new shoes, which I absolutely love um, and have yet to wear them out. So pretty obsessed and pretty excited to be wearing them right now, honestly, because I forgot how comfortable they are. And I'm so happy that they are so comfortable because I'm like really excited to wear them. I think the only the next time I'll be able to wear them if it's not freezing is probably Easter time, <laughs> like Easter. Uh, because you know light colors pastels all that anyway so yeah this is this is my next look um, it's like the only light kind of look that I have uh, the rest I have a black vest a black you know jacket um, but again form-fitting so it's that femme yet mask kind of look to it um, but yeah I mean still very feminine that's just been my style. I'm working on it. I want to kind of create and and be that 
energy that could be one or the other. I have no idea what to do with my hair to make it more, I mean, I guess up, right? I don't know. But yeah. Back? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, sorry, can you tell I'm like really excited to be, I, I don't know how I came up with this, but I really like it, like a lot. Like I might actually wear this to Easter, as for Easter, whatever. I don't know. I want to wear it out. I want to wear this. Somebody take me out on a date. Hubby. <laughs> anyway. All right. Next. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. I, oh, sorry. Hand, thumb's not in the pocket. I mean, in the pocket. It's not out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This... This is cool. This is super cool. I actually am wearing these though because these are actually um, hubby's pants. So, and the belt is his. <laughs> like even without, honestly, without the vest, it looks really cool too. Like, let me show you. Yeah. This is cool. Um, these are his pinstripe pants, which is why <laughs> they're very obviously his. <laughs> but, uh, oh, the pockets are so big. What is this like? What, what, oh, oh my God, to be a man. Look at this, I could fit a whole iPad in here. This is amazing. Oh, I'm so jealous. Anyway, this belt's pretty cool because, um, it goes all the way and it has like a, it's wild. Men have the coolest things. Like what the hell, bro? Why? Goddamn patriarchy. Fucking it up for the women. Oh, this is awesome. Honestly, I'd go out in this. I would fucking go out in this. I would like, this is cool. Sorry. <laughs> Just trying to. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, no, this I'm feeling. I'm, this is cool. Maybe it's that I'm actually wearing men's clothing that I feel even more confident. <laughs> is that weird? Maybe a little bit, yeah. Shouldn't have said that out loud. Um, but uh, I, um, this is cool. I don't know, I'm feeling like maybe this is the next, the next level of fashion. <laughs> anyway, uh, let me put the vest back on because, uh, I mean, like both ways, just lit, you know what I'm saying? And I have one more, I'm going to do it with, with this as a base, it's a jacket. Um... You know what I think, a, when I was looking up uh, androgynous looks, a lot of it was like women wearing essentially men's clothing. And I think what's missing is that I feel like androgynous is more of uh, mask and femme together. Uh, you know, obviously putting things on a woman's body is going to look more feminine because her body is feminine, generally speaking. But um, I feel like adding a little Liberace <laughs> flair to it is really what makes androgyny. Like, I know it's supposed to be man or woman, you know, but I, I think there should be a fair balance of both femme and mask, you know, even like if a man were to wear this, like how, this is like David Bowie would totally wear this. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that is just kind of the vibe of androgyny where it's, it can be worn by both sexes, by all the sexes, by the gender fluids, by everyone and still have like, you know, this is, that makes sense. I don't know. I don't know if I'm making any sense. Anyway, I think this is super cool. Um, last look, mm, last, second to last is going to be basically this with 
uh, blazer, my blazer. So again, it's going to lend itself to being more femme, but also like a more masculine, uh, uh, not silhouette, but masculine clothes, like, you know, a suit jacket. All right, let me show you next. The one downside is that this is black and this is like, this is so black that this does not look black anymore. It's almost like a navy pinstripe, and the pinstripe, obviously. But how, this jacket, oh my God. This is from college. I remember specifically, I was probably 18 when I got this, maybe 19. Hmm. Yeah, I was 19. It's a cool jacket. I love it. It's Guess, it's got fur. Yeah, no, it's a cool jacket. It's got gorgeous detail. I don't know if you can see the detail here. Just stunning. Um, yeah, I love it. Anyway, uh, one more look. It's gonna be more casual, uh, cause I didn't do any casual. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. All right, next. All right, and uh, yeah, uh, these are actually mom jeans. <laughs> um, and you know, the, the rhinestone sneakers are just, I, I um, if I were a man, I would still be wearing these. <laughs> I can't help it, it's, it's just in my blood. I just need it, I love it, but yeah. Um, just j the same gorgeous collared shirt with all the rhinestones all over it. Um, grandpa sweater, obviously hubbies <laughs> and, uh, mom jeans and then the rhinestone sneakers, keeping it cash. But you know, I, um, I, I don't know how to, I don't know how to do that. So that's as casual as I can. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Tell me what you think. Which look was your favorite look? Um, and uh, if, if uh, you want me to try more, um, obviously come uh, February, I'm going to be doing Valentine's Day lookbooks, date night lookbooks. Uh, we'll be doing makeup tutorials, maybe some hair. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't, I'm not sure. I guess I have to, I got to figure out what to do for, um, for January. Like I want to continue doing lookbooks and like, uh, let me tell you, like putting this stuff together was super cool because there's some things that I never would have even thought to have even thought to have put together. Um, but then I did it and I was like, I want to go out in this or I want to do photos in this, you know, there's some, I really love doing this and just kind of going into my closet and trying to create looks or ideas that I wouldn't normally even, you know, move towards and, uh, let me just <laughs> get my bangs back, but I it just, it's, it's really cool. It's really fun. And, uh, and it's a great challenge. Honestly, I think a, a lot of people will find they have a lot of really cool outfits if they just know what kind of look they're looking for, like what mood or what idea they want to portray. You know, if you know, of course, if you have my closet, then <laughs> it's going to get a little weird because I am very specific about my pieces. But anyway, um, you don't have to spend a lot to to create really cool looks either. Although that would be nice too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Manifesting. Anyway, I hope you had an amazing day. I'm going to change back into my comfy cozy clothes and get today's episode done um because yeah i i it's late and i delayed because i was just the motivation i tell you man this weather oof woof it's a storm outside and and while i love storms in terms of like getting stuff done it's very hard for me very hard but anyway i'm glad we did this i had a lot of fun uh, if you, there are any other kinds of looks or ideas or lookbooks that you would like me to try, please let me know in the comments below. I'm always looking for ideas um, and uh, inspiration and 
creating uh, different fashion looks with, with things I already have or things I can steal from hubby. So anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for spending time with me today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, I will see you tomorrow. Until next time.